We're looking at the aftermath of one of the strongest storms ever to tear across the ocean and smash into land. That super typhoon, 195 mile per hour winds cutting through the Philippines. Families there waking up to the reality of what they survived. So what caused this turbocharged storm? Let's get right to ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z. This is what it feels like inside a super typhoon. The waves crashing, camera shaking as 15 crew members who were working on a barge are just barely rescued from the turbulent ocean. Super Typhoon Haiyan raced across the Philippine Islands, kicking waves up to 19 feet high, winds up to 195 miles per hour. Power lines shredded, leaving millions unable to communicate. And tonight, we dive into the eye of the storm, talking to reporter Val Belita, who has been there right through it all. We also experienced storm surges, so the, um, the houses in, in the coastal areas are, are also devastated. Those winds so intense, this storm will likely go down as the strongest to make landfall. But how is that wind speed measured? It's an estimate made by satellites. See, that satellite up in space has an instrument on it called a scatterometer. That instrument beams microwaves through the clouds of the storm. The beams hit the ocean and then reflect back up at different angles. That helps the satellite determine the speed of the wind. And the wind speed is really what matters, not necessarily the size of the storm. So let's look at that super typhoon just before landfall yesterday. Now we measure the diameter of a storm, usually by looking at the tropical storm force winds and how far out those go. Well, in this super typhoon, it's about 300 miles across. So it's relatively small compared to a storm, say like Irene, that was almost double that, but much weaker. Our Gloria Riviera is on the ground. We are at Chiapo Church, and in this predominantly Catholic country, they're calling on the power of prayer. Bishops in every church leading the people in a prayer against impending casualties. Today, that number should become more clear. That prayer still being asked for from around the world as the storm exits the Philippines. Next stop, Vietnam. And that's just it. The sun again coming up, and we're going to learn so much more about just how catastrophic this storm was, Diane. One thing I can tell you, in about 24 hours, it goes to Vietnam, and it hits as a, a lesser storm, Category 2, but still pretty significant. Yeah, still packing a lot of wind, and we will be learning more. Still so much unknown. Thank you, Ginger.